Hey yo everybody, Pod Charles here, and in this video we're continuing our journey through Frambo. In the last episode, we kind of walked around this place constantly, trying to find out how the heck to get a lemon, how the heck to get that ticket to get into the bar. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to... Why does the basket sit there? I changed it to winter, it's not there. This is spring, I'm guessing. And the grasshopper's there, the grasshopper that picks lemons. Okay, watch. He picks the lemon, I talk to him. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? No, get lost. They're too limited, blah, blah, blah. And then he takes his basket and leaves. Like so. Like, see, like, what, what do I do to get the lemon off him? I'm trying to find this, like, I spent so much time trying to find this ticket to get into the bar. Because he walks into the bar afterwards. There you go, see, he walks into the bar. So I'm assuming, you know, maybe I convince him to get a lemon inside the bar, but to get inside that bar you need a special ticket that only Thurston's have, and we're not your Thurston's, we're just a, a child, a human child that's been changed into a tree spirit thing that's not any Thurston, so we don't have a ticket, because these tickets apparently are given at birth or something like that, just a Thurston's just have them, so. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? I really, like, why? It must have something to do with that basket just sitting there, but... Can I cut a hole in the basket? Kitty, I'm going to do something, so act natural. Oh, that is so dodgy. Oh wait, so I do... I spent so much time. Anyway, look, let's just change the seasons, let's see what happens. Act natural. He doesn't know there's a hole in it. Okay, cool. Okay, walk away with your stinking bucket of lemons. Hey, you dropped one, you jerk. Okay, sweet, we got a lemon, finally. Let's go back to Mount Cotram. We don't have to follow, we don't have to find this ticket. Like, no wonder I wasn't getting anywhere. I was trying to look for this ticket that doesn't even exist. Oh my goodness, I am so silly. Anyway, let's put the lemon on the Death Star. Sweet, there goes the lemon. Puzzle solved, woo! Okay. I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. Hehe, <laughs> yes. We will start with the fire. <sighs> Magical powers ignite. Kotrum has awakened. Kotrum is alive. On the top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely, lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Ah, uh, your hat. Hehe, <laughs> yes. The stones are hiding in my wizard tools. That is why I can't remember nothing. Haha. <laughs> but now I am remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Kotrum. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do other things. Alright, sir. I'll bring you your hat. Okay, let's get this hat from Kotrum, which is at the top of the mountain. Woo! We made look I'm just I'm just really happy that we're making progress. Can we get the hat? Oh boy, okay. Who dares to wake me up? Who? <gasps> Oh my goodness, you're alive. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm Fran. Fran, I see. I don't know what that means. It's just my name. I don't really know what it means. Oh, alright. My name is Kotrum. Do you want to know why? No, but tell me anyway. <laughs> Kotrum means born in heaven. I used to be a star. A pop star. And because I was born in space, it's very logical. This guy reminds me a bit of that... That character, I don't know if you've seen that Disney short, the, uh, I, that, um, what is it called? Some, I want somebody to love, uh, and there's like a, a volcano, uh, an old man volcano, and like a really cute, beautiful volcano, and then they get together, and then they're like a volcano together, and they're a love heart, uh, I guess, like, <sighs> have you seen that Disney movie that's feelings? With feelings, I can't even remember what it's called, but you know that one. That It's the short for that. Oh, wow. I never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Fran. So, what brings you here? The great wizard told me to get the hat, so if you don't mind. Hmm, I can't do that. I'm divorced. Divorce? A mountain that was a star at one point? I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. What? 
If I take off the hat, my magma can erupt and kill everybody, including you. I'll just... I'll just get her back. Like, what else can we do? She decided that it was time for her to start her own island. She broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. This is so, like, cute, but sad at the same time. Where is your wife now? Do you know where she is? I think she's on the water. Otherwise, I would very strongly feel her presence. But I don't. Oh, my love, my beloved wife. I'll go and see if I can find her, alright? Then you give me that. Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what can happen. Can I put something else on top of your head, sir? Like a rock or something instead? Oh no, I like this hat. Alright, I'll be right back. So the mountain is actually a volcano. I'm just seeing like that volcanic activity glowing in its head right now. That would be a big mistake. I don't know why. Oh hell no. I know you're all alone. <laughs> Let me be your mummy. Let me feed you. <laughs> no, not with those um things you won't. Come to my side. And you will have many new friends to play with. Oh, like all these dead children. I don't want you as a mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Friend, who are you talking to? Huh, the woman standing at... It's nothing giddy. I guess she's, she's still having hallucinations, even though the duo teen is not even around. That is really weird. Really scary, too. Just goes to show that you shouldn't experiment with taking drugs, especially if you're not a child. Especially if you're a child, I mean. Oh, gosh. Just don't fool around with pills. Where do I go? I think... I think that island he was referring to was the island that we came across when we were using the boat earlier. So we have to change it to this. I don't know if this is spring. Yeah, I think this is spring, so... Let's go. Okay, so I don't remember that... that having such a pointy top before. Let's see if we can interact with this. Okay, we can. Sweet. Hello, miss. Wake up. I have a message for you. Oh, hello. A messenger. What a good day. Yes, miss. I'm the messenger. Of love. Love? Oh, but you are not pink. I... I'm brown and green. Like, why does the pinkness have anything to do with it? Hmm. And does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No, he, he made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. That's true, you don't have to go back. Well, maybe he didn't mean to harm you. What did he do? He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. <laughs> but lately, he was cold and boring, so I felt left aside. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time, so you... So I want some credit for that, that's all. But miss, if I find that flower for you, would you come back? I guess, but I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go and see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. And it's very different from all the other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to him. Okay, so it looks like we have to get a butt flower in order to, to satisfy this lady mountain thing. Let's go, I can remember where it is because it grows here where this weed is growing now. So what we need to do is change the seasons. I've just, I've gone, oh gosh, I accidentally went to winter. Change it to spring. This is the red flower, I'm pretty sure. Yep, this must be the red flower I need. Why, why would you take it? Do I need to cut it? Yep, there we go. The red flower, it's like warm love, awesome. So the only reason I knew that was there is because I Explored this area so much trying to look for that ticket. There's a hole in the basket that I made. How dodgy. Miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower. Oh, thank you so much. It looks so beautiful. You are indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. You should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I see you there in the winter time. Oh, gosh. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna detach myself from this little island that I made for myself and go back to my mountain husband. That is so weird. I wonder if mountains actually do that. Maybe That's the concept of erosion, right? Like things erode, they break off, and then they, they build up into larger things over time. But anyway, I think that's all I have for this episode. In the next episode, we'll change to winter time and finally reunite Mount Cotram with his wife. So until then, see you then. 
like, subscribe if you enjoy content like this, and I'll see you next time. See ya!